Okay guys, this review is going to be about Bruce Lee, The Man, The Legend, Lobby Kirk Collection number one, limited edition. These were um, produced in 2017 by Eastern Heroes. They are sold out. There's only 200 copies made. And here's the uh, envelope that they come in. It's got that nice replicated Golden Harvest um, lobby card envelope and they were trying to replicate the first uh, the first um, Golden Harvest envelopes the photo stills came in you notice that the GH round logo is not on there and it's from the Chan Yuk collection Chan Yuk was um, a photographer one of Bruce Lee's uh, photographers his favorite photographers he had about three favorite photographers Chan Yuk um, he took some private photos on Enter the Dragon and other movies, and then we had, um, Chaplin Chang. He did some on The Way of the Dragon. And then, um, Nishimoto-san, which did some on The uh, Way of the Dragon as well. Those were his favorite three photographers. And this, uh, set is, I guess, from the negative, um, collection. The original photo negative collection of Chan Yuk. So I'm going to take you through these. Here's the first card. That's a really beautiful photo. I love the blood splatter on Bruce's shirt. It's really cool. Um, and there's the borders. And this one is uh, the big boss. So it's got the big boss in Chinese title on the top. And it has the um, GH round logo on there. So that's from the first one. I put them in order in sequence. And then there's this one, which is from Fist of Fury, and then it's got the Fist of Fury Chinese um, title. And it says 1971. The movie came out in 72, but it was being produced in 71. Um, and then now we're going to go to the Way of the Dragon. It's got the Way of the Dragon Chinese. I like how they did these cards. I mean, if you take them out of the plastic... They are just super glossy, and then the photo resolution is very sharp. I mean, these are modern, modern cards. They're not from the you know the seventies, the eighties, and nineties. They're more like within the past five years these were made, but they were made to look vintage. And um, I thought about getting them at first. I wasn't so sure because I wanted to stick with the vintage cards. But then I looked at them more, and I says, you know, I might as well pick these up. They're getting rare, hard to get, sold out, and they uh. They're like a tribute to the old Golden Harvest uh, movie lobby card. So I said, you know what? Why don't I well pick them up and put them in my collection, in my binders with my original lobby cards. And they are beautiful. You have to see them in hand to know what I'm talking about. The quality, the print quality on these are just amazing. So I'm going to go to the fourth card. And there's Bruce in his uh, Golden Harvest office wearing his famous uh, red, white, and black striped jacket. Leather jacket. And a pair of his broken glasses as a reminder of where he once was when he was struggling. And this is just in, you know, the Golden Harvest Studios. And this is from 1972. It's actually from late 1972, around the time of Game of Death. And then there's the Game of Death, of course. 1972 production. There's Bruce at Golden Harvest, late 1972, around the Game of Death period. He's in the back parking lot of the Golden Harvest Studios in Hong Kong. And there's another one right here with Bruce in the period outfit. Just awesome. These are, these are pretty awesome. And there's the last card on the rooftop. This is Post Way the Dragon, 1972. And... There you go. Um, they they listed the correct um, year and the correct logo for each year because 71 and 72 had the Golden Harvest Round logo. But I think this set, what they were trying to do was trying to make these almost like Bruce Lee, The Man and the Legend, 1973 uh, lobby card set, like almost like um, kind of like a tribute to that set. Uh, for that set... The GH logo had just, the GH wheat logo had just come out. So the proper logo, if they were trying to go after these, uh, 
after they were trying to uh, replicate those cards or tribute to those cards it would have been the the gh wheat logo but um these are still very beautiful and the envelope is was done very well and the cards fit in there like perfectly so that's it for uh for this set right here i just thought i'd do a review on these they're they're becoming scarce now hard to pick up so i mean i know they're not vintage but they are really cool right thank you for watching